nothing. Stealing my chips, man. What a shame. What a shame. And now I got the crows coming. The crows are coming. They haven't figured out where they're at yet, but the crows will eat them too. <laughs> Get y'all. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was loose. pretty loose in these. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, you'll never have to replace this ever. Yeah, all right, you don't ask. And every month, all this hard water that we got. Man, I'm literally on top of the water heater. There's no way to do it. Sometimes work requires shit to go the way you want it. Alright, so these top ones I'm gonna leave in. Loosen it. Yes, guys, the power is off. Stu foo about that. So we'll check out the bottom ones first. Well, we don't have to sit here and hold the motor. And we don't put any torque on the bottom ones. You want to replace this little coupler? It's a pain in the ass, bro. Yeah. It's a pain in the ass. I try not to mess with anything mechanical. I hate these things. My dad's, uh, uh, I'm, I'm on the opposite spectrum. I, I, I can work on mechanical stuff, you know, but me, uh, yeah. my dad, me and him are on the two different he, He's a fabricator, mechanic, master mechanic. We can fucking build shit. Yeah. But me, I'm on the other side. Like he says, he said, you fucking spark chaser. You know, I went, the, I went the other route, you know? Yeah. But uh, we just built, uh, uh, I helped them build a uh, uh, street truck. Put a big old 350 in there, headers, intake. Uh, that thing's bad. Damn. Bad to the bone. Yeah, they, they couldn't put this facing no, no, this no, way. No, exactly. You know, I... Exactly. You can put it any way you want. Dude, I was I work, last, last night I was we were working on a suppression system, a hood system, you yeah. know, for a, at Crown Plaza. Yeah. So we had four contractors: me, the gas guy, our hood hood company, and um, electrician. Look, they got a, a duct ductwork that's literally as wide as this thing, and they got about this much room from the wall to there, and the fucking bottle and everything's up over there. I mean, same same shit. It's like, are you kidding me? Sh shouldn't even be code. They like, shouldn't have a minimum of 12, yes. 12 inches. Or, or, hey, or put so, it out yeah. where it just sticks this way. Yeah. You know, yeah. They, just, don't, they, don't, they don't think about service and shit. I mean, as you can tell, it was greatly uh, put in when that piece of Kendor is fucking crooked as hell. Yeah. You couldn't even put a level on it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'll let you be. I'm going to go yeah, take I need a sign anything? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to go do my ticket. I'm going to wash up, do my ticket, and I'll get you to sign, and I'm going to get okay. out of here. 
Go right, man. Baby steps, man. Baby steps. My God. Literally, baby steps. This is how much I'm turning that screw. Huh? Oh, it's getting looser. About to come out now. I got one of them. It says it's seven sixteenths, but it ain't. It won't even. It's like totally big, too big. But as y'all see, I'm using an open box wrench. Seven sixteenths, huge. Look at that. Seven sixteenths wrench. It's one of our fire guys from uh, Johnson Controls. <laughs> I'm wondering who that was. You know what? I'm gonna. This is the easiest bolt to get to. So I'm just gonna retighten it just a little. So when I take this one out, nothing will fall. I'm sweating my last night's binge drinking. Out of me. Yeah. Not that funny, actually. No. Screw. Out. All right. Still with us. Mother and under your pump. look good. Yeah, pulley puller, a couple taps. Sometimes works. case. <clears throat> no. And I bet you on the inside. Oh, this is seized up. It's seized up. Guys, there's no point in putting this even on there. There you go. Who cares about that? And that part seized up. 
I won't even turn it. Turn it with my hand. Oh, well, maybe just loosen it up. Yeah, there we go. Man, it's gonna send so much rust and stuff through this this system. It's not even gonna be crazy. I, it's gonna be crazy because nobody's done this ever. So, all right, well, it's free. I just gotta get the uh, thing off of there. We'll be back when that happens. Hey guys, so we're back. Um, I don't have my pulley puller, so I'm not gonna be able to get that off. Um, Another thing I did was I went ahead and oiled it until a little cap right here. Pour your oil in, a little bit of it overflowed, not much, but it doesn't really matter because I got oil now dripping everywhere. Um, and I put that entire tube in there. It said to fill it until it overflows. It overflowed on an entire tube. So that's what I used, the Bell & Gossett um, oil. This is the part number that I'm using to replace with. Same thing. Um, so I can't get that off, unfortunately, but basically I would put this on one side and then somehow hold this up and put the screws in there and then try to get this the other side of this lined up with a thing. They are a real pain in the butt sometimes, especially when you're on top of a water heater, on top of a ladder, kind of situation over here there's our internet stuff i got some stoves refrigerators three water heaters and a riser room there but uh yeah not much to it a much smaller uh motor than um if y'all want the uh details on that so what is this a little third six horse Six horsepower, but there it goes. Drip, drip, drip. So it doesn't really matter. So I'm probably going to have to call somebody out here and have this whole bell housing replaced because uh, the bearings are probably shot in it. I mean, we can take a look while we're here. And then we'll finish up this video because there's not much reason to even repair this at the moment. And there's no wobble, but there's... There's oil just coming right out the bottom of it. So this uh, this bell housing needs to be replaced and I kind of figured that when I first saw it, there was oil here. I just wanted to put oil in it, see what would happen. And well, that's what happens. There's oil all down the wall and on the conduit going to the uh, water heaters. These are electric water heaters, by the way. If y'all were wondering, not gas. Uh, oh, they're A.O. Smith brand as well. But yeah, this is, it's not gonna work. So, there it goes, drip, drip, drip. Because by the time I come in tomorrow, that, that oil's gonna be gone. So there's no point in actually repairing it right now anyway. So I'm gonna call and see who I can get out here to do that. I just gotta replace, or they can replace the bearings if they want to, but I'm not gonna be the one doing it. So, not really even my job to be doing a coupler. I'm supposed to just call somebody and they come out here to do that, but I figured there was a reason why that thing broke. And I was just wanted to check for bad motor mounts, which are these little rubber guys right here, if y'all never taken one of these apart. It's a little rubber gasket thing that goes in there. See, as I'm talking, oil's dripping. So, nope, not gonna be repaired today. I'm sorry guys, but it basically, you can kind of see how it goes on. I've already removed the screws and stuff, but uh, I did have to work for somebody. Um, and there's just oil dripping all out of that bottom of that thing, so the bearings are gone. Wouldn't be surprised if there's oil actually going into the hot water right now. That would be bad, but um, drip, drip, drip. Guys, I'm Jeff the Mates Man. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. We'll get somebody out here with the parts and the tools to fix this thing, because I don't have them. 
Until next time, thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. We'll see you uh, on the next one, I hope.